Let's review the renal injury grading from the American Association for the Surgery of Trauma. What is the grade for this traumatic renal injury shown here? Coronal CT during nephrographic phase following a gunshot wound to the left flank shows fracture of the left kidney. The superior and inferior fragments are perfused, but separated and surrounded by intermediate attenuation fluid. This is a grade four injury. What is a grade four injury? Here's an animation depicting some of its features, which we'll go over later in this video. Starting with the mildest form, grade one, that is a contusion. This is a poorly defined region of decreased parenchymal enhancement. On non-contrast CT, contusions may be iso to hyperattenuating relative to adjacent normal renal parenchyma. There may be a small subcapsular hematoma, which is crescentic in shape and follows the renal contour when small. No associated laceration is present. Here's an example on this axial contrast enhanced CT of a teenager. After a motor vehicle accident, there is now a small hypodense renal contusion consistent with a grade one injury in the right kidney. Next is a grade two injury. There is a laceration with a superficial cortical defect less than one centimeter, typically linear and hypoattenuating. There's no associated collecting system injury. If there's a hematoma, it's confined to the paranephric fascia. Blood dissecting along the paranephric septa results in stranding or cobwebbing. In this axial CT during corticomedullary phase, there's a hematoma in the left kidney whose size is consistent with a grade three. A grade three injury is a laceration greater than one centimeter in depth. There's no involvement of the collecting system. There may also be a contained vascular injury or active bleeding contained within the paranephric fascia. Coronal CT in this teenage patient shows a grade three laceration extending to the renal pelvis with a subcapsular hematoma. A grade four injury is what we initially saw in this video. There's a laceration extending to involve the collecting system. Active bleeding may extend beyond the perinephric fascia. Segmental or complete infarct due to vessel thrombosis may be present, though without active bleeding. Devascularization results in no enhancement of the renal parenchyma. Persistent enhancement of the renal capsule, also known as the rim sign, may be due to small, numerous collateral vessels that perforate through perinephric fat. The rim sign is usually not apparent until eight hours after injury. Coronal CT during the corticomedullary phase shows fracture of the right kidney and a traumatic pseudoaneurysm within the hematoma that separates the superior and inferior fragments. Last is a grade five injury. The kidney is shattered, devascularized with active bleeding. The main artery or vein are lacerated with hilar avulsion. This CT shows multiple sites of active arterial extravasation and a fragment of the fractured kidney. Emergency nephrectomy was performed due to the extensive parenchymal damage and active bleeding. We hope you enjoy this overview of the different renal injury grades from the AAST. Subscribe for more awesome anatomy videos.